everybody, it's Holly, and today I'm giving you the secrets of how to become a YouTuber. Now this is one of our most asked questions. I get it either from parents who have kids that want to become a YouTuber and they're like, what do I do? And I get it from kids who want to become YouTubers. So today I am going to give you the secrets of how you can become a YouTuber. And I'm going to do it right from my desk because most YouTubers spend a lot of their time and a lot of their day in front of their computer editing and making their videos perfect. So the greatest thing about YouTube is that pretty much anybody can do it. All you have to do is set up a YouTube account, pick up a camera, and start shooting. It sounds pretty easy, right? But that doesn't mean you are going to make money right out of the gate. As a matter of fact, you are not going to make money out of the gate. So my number one suggestion to you, if you want to become a YouTuber, you know somebody that does, is it has to be a hobby first. You're not going to make any money. It has to be a hobby. You have to have another way, at least a goal in your life of how to make money. Um, it could take weeks, months, years to make money on YouTube. First of all, you're not going to make any ads because you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watched of videos on your channel before YouTube will even start monetizing it, which means putting ads on it so that you can make money. But we will get to the money thing in a minute. I just kind of wanted to put it out there that if you think that you can just quit your job, you can drop out of school, you are absolutely wrong. That is not how it works. You have to like look at it like a hobby. And if it becomes something more great, but it may not, so that's why it has to be a hobby. Now, what you have to look at first, now I'm gonna show you some different things. You know all of the super popular YouTubers, and this is just a handful of them. These are just some of the really well-known names, some more well-known than others. Um, I know you recognize almost all of them, and everybody wants to be just like them. It's gotta be easy, right? You're just filming videos, you're just making money, you're buying fancy cars. That is like the 0.1% of people with YouTube channels. Not everybody <laughs> makes money as popular like that, but there are some things that you can do to put yourself on the right track to becoming a successful YouTuber. So the first thing you have to do is you have to ask yourself, is this a passion or am I just after the money? What, what is it? You have to re realistically ask yourself and be honest. Are you just looking for the money or do you really, really love to make videos and make films and things like that? If you do, then YouTube is it. If you're chasing the money, nine chances out of 10, you're not gonna hit the money. It's like winning the lottery to be one of those super popular YouTubers. So definitely I say if you wanna be a YouTuber, have a passion for being a video maker, to being a videographer, being somebody that creates, that creates something for people to watch. Have the passion. Don't go after the money. Now, very easy to set up YouTube. All you have to do, whether it's you know as a child with your parents' um, help or as an adult, you just sign up for a Google account, open up a YouTube account, and start filming. Now, it sounds easy, but it really isn't because there are things, like I said, you can do to make yourself more successful out of the gate first. And this is something you don't wanna skip. So the first thing you wanna do when you're trying to decide what your YouTube channel is, is you need to figure out what it's gonna be about. You need a niche. Now, vlogging, people that follow their daily lives and just vlog everything, that is a niche. I'm, that's just what it is. People tune in to see their daily lives. Other people, maybe they're gamers. That's their niche. They do videos all about gaming. Other people, maybe they like um, stunts or pranks or cooking, but you've got to have a niche. That's what's going to make you the most successful on YouTube. If you just throw up a whole bunch of videos that are random, first of all, your audience isn't going to know what to expect. So you're going to lose a big portion. If you have an audience, if you gain one, you're going to start to lose them because you're going to do videos that they're not interested in. So you want to gain an audience that is all about what they're interested in and what your the type of content you're giving them. So you definitely want to narrow it down. I found the most successful YouTubers have a niche, and whether it's comedy or gaming or things like that. So definitely think of what you're passionate about. If you're passionate about cooking, you wanna do a cooking channel. So you wanna to stick to that niche because first of all, not only does your viewers know what you're doing, YouTube knows what you're doing and YouTube is gonna know where to recommend your videos to new viewers. So if they have no idea and your channel is just a mishmash of everything, YouTube's probably not going to 
recommend it to people because they're not gonna know who to recommend it to. So let's get to YouTube there. The reason I say that it has to be a hobby is that, let's put it this way, you are living in someone else's house when you are on YouTube. It's their property, they make the rules, and they can make or break you. They decide who becomes successful. And as much as other people tell you, no, no, it's, yes, there is some talent to making great videos, but I know plenty of channels that make amazing videos and have no subscribers and no watchers. Why? Because YouTube hasn't put them into their algorithm. And the algorithm, if you don't know, it's, your, it's the computer behind YouTube that decides who gets suggested. You go to YouTube, there's always all kinds of suggested videos. Now, many times they're gonna be suggested videos on things that you've watched before, the same type of topic. So if you've watched gaming videos before, a lot of times they're gonna suggest other gaming videos. Maybe you'll like those. And then there's just gonna be random ones that YouTube wants to push. It's the honest truth. So you may only be watching landscaping videos. Let's say you're an older gentleman and you love landscaping. And then all of a sudden there's this little seven year old kid pitching toys at you in the sidebar. You're like, wait, what? I never watch toy videos. So that's, that's YouTube for you. They're going to push who they wanna push. They're gonna also recommend specific um, videos based on what you've watched in the past. So if you have a video that, or you have a channel that has a really specific niche, YouTube is gonna know where to pitch you for the other viewers. Now, here's the thing. Now you've figured out your niche. Now you want to, when, when you start YouTube, it's the best idea to, even if you don't have any viewers, let's say you have no subscribers, they may go back and watch your videos later. So you wanna put your viewers on a schedule. You wanna put yourself on a schedule. Put yourself on a video schedule that you are going to upload every Saturday, or you're gonna upload three times a week. You're gonna upload on Mondays. Let your viewers know that. And you can even put that in the top bar of your YouTube channel. We upload every day. We upload on Saturdays. What that does is when people come to your channel, whether they're new or current subscribers, they're going to know exactly when they can expect a new video from you. Now, this is a hard thing to do because your video schedule might not work, but if you can get yourself in a schedule, I promise you, you will be that much more successful on YouTube. Get yourself in a schedule, let them know, I only up to upload on Mondays and Fridays, or start small and then go bigger. You can always change it. Or let's say you decided three days a week was good and it was too much, you can always drop back down. Just make sure your viewers know. So those are the only two things that I would suggest you do right before you start your YouTube channel. The first video you should do is an introduction video. You should introduce yourself, let them know why they should be watching your channel, let them know why they should be subscribing to you for future videos, tell them what you're gonna be doing videos about, tell them a little bit about yourself, but you definitely want an introduction video. So if YouTube promotes your video or you're sending it out to your friends, you wanna make sure that they know who you are and what to expect on your channel. That's the very first video you wanna do. Okay, so now that you're all excited to start your YouTube channel, I do wanna let you in on the reality of it is there is fierce competition on YouTube. There are 300 hours of video uploaded every minute on YouTube. Every minute, guys, it's a lot. Um, so that is your competition. There are going to be all walks of life. People with, like I said, gaming and cooking and stunts and pranks and baby gear and parodies and everything that you could think of under the sun, how to, how to fix things. Um, so you have fierce competition. So what you wanna do is, like I said, be passionate about the videos you're making, but you want to stick to your niche, make videos that people want to watch. That is your biggest thing. You wanna make videos that you would wanna watch so that other people would wanna watch it. So you don't wanna just throw up some random videos. Um, it's work, it is work. And so when you're a YouTuber, everybody thinks it's so glamorous and you know, there are some really great things about being a YouTuber. First of all, you're own, your own boss. You get to make your own schedule, but that it's really hard work. It really is hard work. You're working all the time. There is no set schedule, so you're constantly having to think of new video ideas. You're editing, you're filming, you're networking, you're collaborating. Um, it's a lot of work and you don't get to just stop. Let's say, okay, here we go. Let's say you make on your second video, it goes viral. You won the lottery, the YouTube lottery, it goes viral. You don't get to just stop. You have to keep making videos. That's not the end all be all. It's not, it's like being a professional ball player. You got on the team, well you have to keep playing. So you're gonna have to keep making videos and keep 
upping the content and upping the value of your content. So even if you go viral, it's not over because let's say you went viral and you stopped making videos. That video will eventually die. It just, it's just the reality of it. YouTube is not going to let it go viral forever. So it eventually will die. And if you aren't smart enough to capitalize on that viral video, you're dead in the water because that's it. The video will die and then your channel will be dead. <laughs> so you're going to have to be smart when you're a YouTuber. So let's go back to the hobby portion of it. I, like I said, YouTube needs to be a hobby at first and you are going to fail so many times. You're going to make videos, especially with a brand new YouTube channel. You're going to make videos that nobody's going to watch, but you're just going to have to keep doing it. Now look at this chart here. It is, you're going to try, you're going to fail, you're going to try, and you're going to get in this circle of trying and failing until finally you get success, but you have to keep going. Everybody has these Hollywood stars in their eyes thinking, oh my gosh, it's almost like being the new celebrity. The, everybody wants to be a YouTuber as opposed to, I want to be in a movie. They want to be a YouTuber. Um, but it's like I said, it's not all glamorous. Um, it's not all just about making videos. You have to be smart. And so making it a hobby and still going to school, you still should go to school and you should still go to college. If you're a kid thinking, I want to be a YouTuber for my, my life. That's not really a career you can choose because like I said, you are pretty much living in somebody else's home, which is YouTube, and they have all the control. Um, and things could change, and then all of a sudden, where are you at? So I definitely encourage all kids to continue their education, continue going to college. And if you're going to college, you can still want to be a YouTuber because there are some majors and some classes that absolutely help with becoming a YouTuber. Now, the first one is you could take photography classes. Taking photography and videography classes will help you become a better video maker, video, you know, a filmmaker. So photography classes, video editing. Not everybody's just born knowing how to edit videos. You could be using Final Cut Pro. You could stay with the basic movie maker. There's so many different editing programs out there. So taking a class in video, video editing, invaluable. Graphic design. You're like, why do I need graphic design if I'm just making videos, Holly? Here's the thing. When you're making videos on YouTube, you also have to be a graphic artist because you have to create thumbnails that are eye catching. Remember when I said there's 300 hours of video uploaded every single minute? Well, all of those people are making really fabulous thumbnails and then you have to be able to do that as well. That's where being a graphic artist and being able to create something beautiful as a thumbnail comes in handy with trying to become a successful YouTuber. Now you could also do business. There's so much business behind being a YouTuber, you have no idea. And we're gonna talk about the 10 people you need to be um, in a little, a little later when you are a YouTuber, but business, just because you are having to deal with all types of things. Once you get bigger, you're gonna deal with brands, you're gonna deal with money, you're gonna deal with all kinds of things. So business classes, so great. Public relations, now, you're in the public, you're on YouTube, right? You have to know if something goes down, you have to know how to fix it. You have to know how to deal with the public. You have to deal, know how to deal with negative comments, um, things like that. So public relations, great classes. Marketing, you have to be able to market yourself, especially out of the gate. People aren't gonna do it for you. You're gonna have to know how to do social media, how to get your videos in front of people. So definitely marketing will help you. Advertising? Again, goes with marketing. You have to know, do I spend money trying to promote my videos on other platforms? Just gotta have kind of an advertising mind. So advertising, another great option. And then finance, because let's say you become a super successful YouTuber. You gotta know what to do with your money because if you don't and you spend it all in the first couple of years and YouTube doesn't work out for whatever reason down the road, you are broke. You don't want that. So finance, these are just some of the classes that you could take in college, but I definitely recommend going to college. YouTube is not a career that you can choose. You may fall into it eventually and you know, the 1% could make it a career, but that doesn't mean you can choose it. Please don't choose it. <laughs> make it your like, have an A, B and C plan first and make it down the list. Again, hobby first. Okay, so this is getting to be a long video, so I'm gonna actually turn it into two videos, and we're gonna talk about how to make money on YouTube in the next video. But I wanna finish off this video with the 10 people you need to be, your one person needs to be these 10 people when you're a YouTuber. It's behind the scenes. You don't think about this. You think, oh my gosh, I have a camera, I have 
uh, selfie stick. I could be a YouTuber it's so easy. Well, sure, you can put videos up. That doesn't mean you're gonna make money and be successful. If you wanna be successful, here are the 10 people you need to be. You need to wear these clothes of these people. So the first one, you have to be the ideas guy or gal. You have to be the one coming up with the ideas for your videos, especially when you're starting, you don't have a team. I don't have a team. You, you have to be all the people. So the ideas guy, you gotta come up with the idea for the next video. We do parody, so we have to come up with what's the theme? What's the video gonna be about? I'm not just gonna turn a camera on and just start singing. So you gotta be the ideas guy. Number two, you gotta be the writer. Again, there are some people that just turn the camera on and talk, but for the majority of really successful YouTubers, they plan it out. They type up, write up a plan of how the video is gonna go and they stick to it. It might not be word for word, it's definitely not usually a script, but sometimes it is. So you gotta be the writer. The next thing you have to be is you gotta be the videographer and the photographer because you're gonna have to shoot your own things when you're starting out. You're not gonna be able to hire people to come in and video you, so you now have to have some type of skill to be able to at least frame your video um, and take a picture for the thumbnail or create a picture. So now you have to be the, the photographer and the videographer as well. Next thing you need to be is the editor. Now, again, most YouTubers don't have a team, so now that you've shot this amazing video, probably didn't take it in one take, right? I mean, you maybe could have, but even then you're gonna wanna put something at the beginning, maybe you wanna put an end slate. You have to be an editor, so there is always editing in the best YouTube videos. So you're gonna have to learn the programs, whether, like I said, it's Final Cut Pro or Movie Maker, you're gonna have to learn the programs. So now you are the video editor as well. Next thing you need to be, like I said, for the classes, if you wanna take them in college, is a graphic artist. Here's an example of one of the thumbnails, just trying to get the people on YouTube to click on your video. And that all comes within that thumbnail. Is it eye-catching? Is it colorful? Is it make me want to click? My most successful thumbnails is when I'm making them and my kids come in and they go, oh, what, what, what's in that box? And I was like, I got you, I got you. I knew you wanted to click. I'm, if they tell me they wanna know, that means it's, it's a good, thumbnail because they want to they want to know you want the thumbnail to keep the person guessing in, in order to click on your video next thing you need to be is a wordsmith you're like what's a wordsmith holly <laughs> wordsmith is people that put words together and make them sound pretty now you're like i'm not great at that well you're gonna have to be because your title and your tags of your video have to be good so you're not going to be able to just put up a video and put up my day you can probably not gonna do very well. So you're gonna to have to wordsmith a great title, something that's catchy, something that people wanna click on. And then you're gonna to wanna to add tags to it, which are words that are associated with your video. So if your video is all about making a uh, cake, a specific, let's say, Spider-Man cake or something like that, you have to use all these tags of cake, baking. Um, there's a whole thing that goes into making great tags. So now you're a wordsmith. You also have to be a marketer. Again, having that class, marketing class is gonna help you be a marketer. Why? Because you have to promote your own videos. You're gonna have to figure out how you're gonna get them onto Instagram because Instagram is long, long videos as opposed to YouTube, which are horizontal videos. So you're gonna have to know how to edit them to go to Instagram. You're gonna have to know, can I promote them on TikTok? How do I do that? How about Facebook? You're gonna have to market your videos everywhere on your own. Next thing you have to do is public relations. You have to be the public relations guy. You have to know how to interact with your audience. If you have comments, you have to know how to respond, when to respond. You have to know how to interact with that audience. The ninth person you need to be is an analyst. <laughs> Once you have the video up and all of that, you're gonna have to dig deep into your Google Analytics and those are all of the stats behind the scenes of your video. How long it was watched, who was watching, um, wh what countries were watching, what words, tags brought them to your video. Who, how did they come from your video? Was it because YouTube suggested? Is it because somebody posted it on a website? You have to dig deep into that to make the next video successful. You will see, wow, this didn't do that well, and maybe here's why. You're gonna have to dig deep, so now you have to be an analyst. And the final person you need to be when you are becoming a successful YouTuber is you need to be a psychic. <laughs> I'm kind of half serious, but half, like, you do. Because, like I said, YouTube is an 
all has all the control. So you have to be a psychic of what you think is gonna do well. What's the next trend? Um, if you're late on the trends, your video is probably not gonna do well. So you have to almost jump on trends before they're trends. And you have to just pray a lot, pray a lot that YouTube wants to promote your video and wants to suggest it to other people. So again, being a psychic, that's key. So those are the 10 people you need to be when you want to be a successful YouTuber. I know it seems all very overwhelming, but I just, I like to give you the good, the bad, and the ugly of being a YouTuber. I think it's so glamorized, and I think people, especially kids, are like, I want to do this for my life. I want to be a YouTuber. And then you see all of these YouTubers that are successful, but are burning out because it is so much work. And I don't think people really realistically see that. And so, even though I've probably overwhelmed you with a lot, that's why we're in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and do how to make money being a YouTuber because there are ways than just being monetized on YouTube. There are a bunch of ways you can make money and you can make it a full-time career. It's my full-time career and it's fantastic, but it's there's things you have to do to get there. So I hope this at least helped you in a little bit. That is things that you need to think about. If you're a kid watching this and you wanna be a YouTuber, by all means, I want you to follow your passion, but I want you to also stay in school and I want you to go to college and use YouTube as a hobby. And if you become super successful, then you can reevaluate your plans, but you need to be able to make a living. <laughs> and YouTube probably is not going to be your career until you're 65. So definitely have a plan A, B, and C before you even think about YouTube being any type of career. Um, and if you're a parent of a child who's like, I want to be a YouTuber, just gently guide them into other interests as well. Don't squash their YouTube goals. Actually show them this video. Tell them it is a lot of work and you're willing to help them, but they definitely have to stay in school and school comes first because at the end of the day, if you Let's say you did YouTube and you're 25 years old. Nobody wants to talk to a dumb person that didn't go to school because they made videos and then just didn't. They just stopped making videos. It wasn't a passion anymore. Or it just didn't work, you know? So definitely stay in school. And that's what I tell parents all the time is don't squash their dreams. Just encourage their other interests as well and make sure that they stay in school. So that's it, guys. I am sorry for this video being so long, but there's so much about being a YouTuber that I could share with you. I just can't do it all in one video. So next video will be all about how to make money on YouTube and then they'll, we'll make it a series. We'll make it a whole series about how to be successful on YouTube. So that's it guys. I hope this was helpful. If you liked this video in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.